Losing fat by far is one of the most common goals in today's age, right? Because let me tell you from my perspective, I also did this as the title says. I lost 20 pounds in six months. Maybe it will be more, but I, I keep it very sustainable, which most people fail in this. And in this video, I want to show you how exactly I did everything. I'm gonna show you my nutrition, my training, the supplements I took, and most importantly, the habits outside of training and nutrition, which are also just as important factors as the ones I mentioned right now. So, because of many life factors, you know, like health, like social aspect, you know, that counts too, your looks, your looks are very important, especially for us men and women too and many more we know that when we lose excess body fat is going to be very beneficial for our mental health for our emotional health for physical health for everything for yourself and outside of your life too even on your work like i just mentioned which some people neglect this you need to stick to always doing some kind of exercise every single day if it's anaerobic or aerobic and most people just neglect this so i want to tell you how i lost fat and how you can create those habits so some months ago i wasn't dialed in the best way with my nutrition i was already training very hard but my cardio nutrition was very low you know i wasn't taking care of my nutrition and i was i wasn't doing any cardio so in that way i gained a lot of fat because you know lifting weights doesn't burn that much calories and in a short period of time i got the heaviest in the last three years i almost weighed 190 pounds that's horrible and i was having a lot of acne too because in my case, when I have excess body fat, my face tells me that. It's incredible. And I have more acne in my face when I have more body fat and so on. So for that reason, I decided to start my third fat loss journey since I started lifting weights at, this, at around the final week of January of this year. And around one week ago, as I'm recording this video, I ended the cut. So as you can see, it, it, it took, like I said in the in the title of the video it took six months to get here and i lost 20 pounds with mostly of those 20 pounds being fat actually if you see my photos right now and the poses i do most of it was fat that i lost you know even my face got way less fat incredible it's just incredible so i really was very focused and i'm gonna show you how you can be too and how you can stay also in line with your diet when you're going out on social events if you are a very social person so once i didn't do what most people do that's the first thing most people start doing an excess amount of cardio which is a very big mistake and also reducing their calories in a very aggressive way i'm i'm talking about a 600 700 800 a thousand calorie deficit that's not just sustainable of course if you're doing a mini cut but that's in another video this is something more in the long term like i did so because i wanted to make it successful so for this reason i just did like a minus 300 calorie deficit and also adding some cardio you know i started to run again which i hated back then and now i love it combined with the elliptical machine those two cardios are my favorite one and every month my strategy was to reduce to reduce my calories 100 more and add a cardio session of 30 minutes every single month so that was like the base the base goal while losing fat in terms of training and nutrition now i'm gonna go now focus on nutrition because it's the most important thing when losing fat and for what i ate the most was the same every single day and it was foods i can stick to i'm talking about fruits vegetables like a lot of vegetables because they fill you up because of the fiber oats eggs egg whites chicken breasts one ounce of beef liver and of course the supplements like fish oil creatine zinc and magnesium based on my need you're gonna see a lot of gurus on the internet telling you that this is the best diet to lose fat this is the best thing to lose fat if you're not in a caloric deficit my friend you're never gonna lose fat no matter if you're in a carnivore which is very popular today i'm gonna tell it again i'm gonna repeat it if you're not in a caloric deficit you're not gonna lose fat okay you may be lose weight but if you want to lose fat you need to be in a caloric deficit so try to stick with foods you can enjoy every single day that it's sustainable that you eat three to four times every single day for at least three months because if you can pass this stage it's going to be way harder for you to lose the amount of fat you want to lose because nutrition it's also a practice of discipline so you need to have discipline in this all right now let's go to the training here i also included cardio yes i included cardio but i didn't do it every single day okay i did it three times a week 
each session of 30 minutes that was the starting cardio i don't want to go to, to a rant so let me tell you you need you don't need to do cardio every single day like i just mentioned now you don't need it okay get that out of your mind it, when when you're going to lose fat i'm going oh, i'm gonna do cardio every day no okay focus more on neat which i'm gonna tell you in a bit so if you do this if you go and do cardio every single day you're gonna feel more hungry you're gonna be more exhausted you maybe get injured so what i apply was a slow increase of my sessions it can be adding a session it can be adding time so in my case was that like i said i, I started three times a week 30 minutes each session so week one was like that week two should be 35 minutes three sessions of 35 minutes week three sessions of 40 minutes and so on until you reach a month once you i reached a month in my fat loss journey is where i added one more session in so four sessions and that way i repeated the same thing over and over again into a max of five sessions per week no more than that for the muscle we need to maintain as much muscle as possible when we lose fat that's why we don't do cardio every single day right or we do different modalities of cardio to have that mobility every single day so for this part i trained like i just trained for building muscle okay or maintaining it Having a structured routine, in my case, was a five-day split, upper, lower, push, pull, legs. For example, the push day was training specific muscle groups like the chest, triceps, and shoulders. Of course, you don't need to train full body every single day because like the cardio example, you're going to be more fatigued, you're going you're gonna to feel more exhausted, and it's going to be way harder for you to reach that goal. So as you can see, it's very basic. Just like the nutrition part where I ate the same thing almost the same day, here's the same it's basic i'm not going in a crazy circuit i'm not doing a crazy boot camp that burns 2000 calories in an hour no okay train like you're building muscle and do some types of cardio not every single day but try to at least walk every single day and do your sessions of cardio too now that you know your, what i did with my nutrition and my training what about supplements what about habits well again for my supplements I'm gonna be more specific here. I didn't mention how much, so I'm gonna tell you now. Also, I took these supplements outside of my fat loss journeys. You know, right now I, I, I finished my fat loss journey. I'm now trying to maintain my weight and I still taking the same supplements as I was when losing fat. So these are the supplements. Number one is five grams of creatine. Number two is fish oil that contains at least one gram of EPA and DHA each. Number three is caffeine. I love caffeine, especially from coffee. I don't drink pre-workouts pre because... Eh. <laughs> and lastly, zinc and magnesium. Based on my needs, magnesium is very awesome for sleep. Zinc helps me with my acne and testosterone. So another important factor talking about sleep is sleep, which most of us neglect neglected. I'm not gonna go into detail. You can find more information. I'm gonna do a video on a future video about sleep and building muscle but seven to nine hours it's the most optimal range of sleeping okay no more less than that no more than that depending on how your body feels your energy levels you will find your range okay also try to go to sleep and wake up the same hours every single day including weekends yes including weekends okay please because that way you fix your circadian rhythm you feel more rested after every single night okay you have high quality sleep that REM sleep which is now the best part of the video the one you're waiting for the habits the three hacks i'm going to show you but before of that i want to tell you that building habits it's what makes us and of course losing fat is not an easy habit to to create but i want to share you these three habits that you can start implementing so you can get as lean as possible in the most sustainable way as possible without wrecking havoc okay so number one is weighting yourself every single day please get that weight scale they're cheap waste it on things you really need waste your money on things you really need this is this transformed my habits almost more than two years ago and i have seen how my weight has gone up because of the muscle I have gained and all of that. And it's very useful. But number two is gonna be intermittent fasting. Come on, another fitness influencer talking about fasting. Yes, I know there's a lot of fat diets out there like I mentioned before without going on a rant, but I think intermittent fasting, it's a very useful tool if you don't like to eat at mornings like me. I never like breakfast or I eat very few in the mornings because I feel more focused in the mornings to study, to go to college. I get my classes at the morning. So this is very good. So you can eat more earlier and you can watch all your favorite series at 8 p.m. with your Boom Chicka Pop. 
thinking it's healthy popcorn, which actually is not. <laughs> and number three is gonna be moving more. Yes, please get your NEAT levels up. A lot of studies have shown that NEAT really, really helps with fat loss. So move more, stand more. I'm right now on a standing desk. Park farther away from your destination. Walk to your college. Like me, I walk to my college. I don't use my car. Way better. Way, way better. Trust me. Now, disclaimer. This is all based on you. You're the one who takes this choice. You're the one who makes the choice. Not me. I'm telling you what I did, how I did it. Because I like to put in the hard work. That's what creates the habits. Doing the hard work. If you take the famous pill that it's today, I'm not going to tell the name you already, I think you already know. The fat loss one. It's not going to be f easy, but we will feel easy. <laughs> I'm contradicting myself. Sorry, maybe. I don't know. If, uh, if, if you understand me that, yeah. But again, if you like my video, if you learned a lot, if you're more confident, if I made you more confident on reaching that goal, then you can subscribe to my channel, like the video if you enjoyed this video. I'm your trainer, Sebitas. You can check my website down below in the description if you want to train with me online completely for free. Then three first sessions. Go ahead, sign up, and we will have a chat. So again, as in the end of all the videos, master it, enjoy it, and never give up. All right, guys. See y'all in the next video.